Hey, what's up, everybody? Media 44 coming at you another video. All right, so forgive my collar, look crazy. You know me, I don't really care. But this is what we're talking about John Morant's injury. Now, I think I'm gonna have another video on the game itself. Uh, Memphis does play today. This is not that video, unless I turn it into it, but I doubt it. We're talking about the injury itself. Um, John Morant, of course, is now um, doubtful for the remainder of the playoffs with, with a knee injury. And we talked about the play um, a little bit because I wasn't really sure where he got hurt. And at the time, I hadn't seen the footage where everyone said he actually got hurt, which is uh, on a play, Clay Thompson uh, block shot um, or attempt. He didn't actually get to it. But uh, what, to be honest with you, I saw uh, was him come down funny on that leg and that play, and it did look like something that could have did a lot of damage to him. However, when you look at the situation for what it is, you also have to be honest. I was listening to Skip Bayless, and I I definitely see it the way he does. There's two things going on there. One, now that they're saying it's a bone bruise, we most definitely know that bruise was not caused by the pulling of that leg. But I do have a question for Jordan Poole. What was going on in that play from your perspective? Because when I look at it, it looks like you looked at his leg and tugged at his knee slightly but as skip said enough to imbalance his ankle and twist it in such a way we can say he's going for the ball but if you look at it his coordination would have to be extremely off <laughs> like way off for him to actually think the ball was there in that moment he's looking at the leg and he's grabbing for the leg and he's tugging at the leg. Now, what I think happened is, I think that John Morant felt the worst pain at that moment in that knee. Um, probably the, the 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 straw that broke the camel's back. Because um, his knee was already hurting, but he continued to play through it or whatever. He probably didn't even remember he had hurt it. He probably got to a point where it didn't hurt no more. He's, adrenaline had him going. He probably didn't even remember it. He's a young kid. You got to remember this is a 21-year-old, 20-year-old playing a playoff game he's not thinking about he's probably not as in tune with his body right now as he will be way down the road <laughs> so that's how i look at it um and 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 he felt that pain at its worst when the pull happened so he probably thought that was what injured him he probably in the moment thought that's what injured him he goes online after the game <laughs> sitting there in pain looking online seeing people talk about jordan Poole pulling that leg he remembers what was said in regards to Steve Kerr saying the code. He put two and two together, said they probably did probably want to remove me from the game since uh, we, were, you know, allegedly did on purpose remove the guy who's supposed to be stopping me. Maybe that's a retaliatory thing. I can see all of this coming together in a kid's head when he's feeling emotional about not being able to play because he knows his series is probably over, given the fact that he's, his knee is probably going to keep him out. I think the right thing for him to do if he believes Jordan Poole didn't do that on purpose would be to have a man-to-man -man with Jordan Poole and make that right. But I can't expect him to do that at this age either. That's not something you're really thinking about at 20 a lot of times. But I think that's what a grown man does when you realize you made a mistake. However, I still need to know what the hell Jordan Poole was doing there. I do need to know. I can't, I can't say to Ja, hey, you need to apologize to him without actually having an answer for that. What the hell were you doing? <laughs> Why were you pulling that man's leg? <laughs> what was your goal there? Because the ball was much higher. You weren't looking at the ball. Your coordination's not that bad because you're one of the best athletes in the world. So what the hell were you doing? <laughs> and until I get an answer for that, I really don't know how to feel about this. Um, do I think that he intentionally injured Jaws' knee? No. Do I not understand what the hell he was doing when he was pulling the man's leg? Yes. <laughs> what conclusion can I come to? <laughs> Those who are saying it's a play on the ball, I can't lie to myself and, and say that's what I see. That's not what I see. You understand what I'm saying? This is one of those situations where I'm looking at that, and I'm telling you, no, that's not. That's he's not making a play for the ball. <laughs> um, it would be nice if we could could see that he was. Maybe he was a little off swiping, but not nah, man's looking at the knee, and he grabs at the knee. <laughs> so, um, you know, it does take us back to what Job may be looking at in regards to them wanting to remove him from the game because. GP2 has been removed. And the fact that Coach said that they broke the code makes you think that maybe he thinks it's okay to break the code in response to it. I would come to those same conclusions if I were a 22-year-old kid in that situation in charge of a basketball team being the leader and all of that in these circumstances. It's the playoffs. 
and we have seen players removed from games deliberately by teams who want to remove players from games. We know this happens. So, you know, do I think that somebody may have whispered in Jordan Poole's, hey, that, that knee is messed up, man. <laughs> that his knee is messed up. I think that we talk about this all the time in regards to playoff basketball. If I know something's wrong with you, I'm tugging at it. If I know you got something wrong with your eye, I'm giving you an elbow to it. If I know you got something wrong with your ribs, you're going to spill that elbow to that ribs at all times. Like, this is what we talk about. This is the NBA that we grew up discussing um, from the 80s. So to think it's beyond for, for say, uh, player B say, yo, I know that leg is messed up, man. You know, feel a little nudge. You might be able to get him up out of here. Do I think that the NBA is above that? I know they're not. <laughs> I know they're not. So that's my opinion about the entire situation. Um, this is inconclusive. My eyes don't lie to me. He was tugging at that man's leg. I don't think that can cause a bone bruise. And, um, you know, I, that's it. <laughs> that, that's what I see there. So, yeah, get well soon, Ja. Obviously, you hope he's able to um, make the decision that he can live with. In these situations, that's exactly what I say. Because if you have a chance to play... <laughs> then it's about what you can live with. Some people think that the best way to go is to take advantage of the opportunity they have right now because they don't know what's coming tomorrow and they don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So if you have a good team right now and you can run, run. And they say you're not out for this playoffs, then chances are he's probably going to try to come back if, he's, if this team continues to play. <laughs> However, he does have a long career to consider. A lot of examples like Derrick Rose and people who've had bad knees have super athleticism and have fallen off. And then he, he, he also understands that he hasn't made the money that he's going to make. And if he starts taking on certain knee injuries, stuff like that, uh, that money will not come. Isaiah Thomas is the first name that comes in mind. So I think John Moran should definitely play this smart um, and do what he can live with, man. Do what he can live with. There's a chance he never plays on a team that's good again. But there's also a chance he goes out there hobbling around and makes him worse. So he has to be honest with himself about all these things. And I think ultimately, at 20 years of age, sitting is the wisest choice. So, that's pretty much what I got to say, man. BDF44, of course, I'll come back to you guys with more games on t uh, videos on the games tonight. And that's what I got, man. Peace.